What's up, folks? I'm Chris, your MLB writer here at Occupy Fantasy. Here with a look at the 11 game main slate in MLB DFS on Thursday, July 14th, FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo. Tonight, our favorite pitcher to start our lineups with is Corbin Burns of the Milwaukee Brewers in our model. He's got a 20 OF index, very strong ranking. Anything over 15 is what we consider a strong play, anything over 17 is a great play. When we approach the 20 territory, That's when we're extremely interested in some plays here. And much like last night where mentioned playing Christian Javier of the Astros and Shoei Otani of the Angels in the same lineup is something that the field would probably shy away from a little bit more than they actually should, it looks like we might have another opportunity at that tonight with Carlos Rodon of the San Francisco Giants on the other side of that matchup with Burns in this Giants-Brewers game tonight. These two guys are the top arms in our model this evening. Burns significantly more expensive than Rodone on DraftKings. I think there's definitely paths to finding a way to get both these guys in your lineups tonight. Each project for over 1.3 strikeouts per inning. Burns has the better matchup, I would say. San Francisco slightly below average in the fantasy point production department over the last 30 days and striking out above average. For Rodone, the Brewers are actually pretty hot right now. They are scoring at an above average rate. Uh, and striking out just slightly above average. So that probably plays a lot into why Radon has the slightly worse OF index in our model. This is a straight-up coin flip game in betting markets tonight, but based off of the quality of these two arms going off head-to-head. Uh, reasonable stack has data on either side of the matchup there with Burns and Radon, like both of them quite a bit this evening. Tristan McKenzie facing the Detroit Tigers. Detroit with a, is a below-average fantasy point production offense. Strikes out slightly below average, so not as strong of a matchup for McKenzie as it might have been a couple of weeks ago against these same Tigers. For Amber Valdez of the Astros here, he has a minus 175 money line favorite with line movement in his favor, uh, facing the very strikeout prone Los Angeles Angels. Pro- projects for just 0.93 strikeouts per inning, despite the very strong uh, upwards adjustment he would receive from how strikeout prone the Angels are. So I would consider Valdez closer to a low risk play. Very good at limited batted ball distance over the last couple of weeks of his outings. Nestor Cortez of the Yankees, just $8,800 here on DraftKings. Minus 195 money line status. Projects for over strike up per inning. Could be a strong high risk play. Carlos Carrasco. Cookie here, a favorite against the Chicago Cubs this evening with a very strong strike up projection as well. Other pitcher that I would look at tonight, Kyle Wright with the Atlanta Braves has a low strikeout projection against the Nationals because the Nationals are actually one of the hardest teams to strike out right now in Major League Baseball in the last month. But this is probably a good play, particularly for low-risk contests, as a giant minus 225 money line favorite. And then Kevin Gosman for the Blue Jays coming back from missing a couple of starts, also a very heavy favorite against the Royals, who are missing 40% of their roster in Toronto because they're un- ineligible to enter Canada. That makes the Blue Jays pitcher a very strong play here against a well below average lineup in Kansas City on the road in Toronto. Now, the offenses that we want to use tonight. We always like to look at the worst ranked pitchers in our model to see if that's a place that we'd like to start. Carlos Hernandez of the Royals is the worst ranked pitcher on our model, so we're probably going to be interested in Toronto. Elvin Rodriguez of the Detroit Tigers against the Cleveland Guardians. Annabelle Sanchez against the Braves. Dakota Hudson against the Dodgers. These are four guys I suspect our model will like to target with offenses this evening. Now, these first three here haven't pitched in a while, so there's no batted ball data in here for us to judge the quality of their performance off of. A couple of other spots that may stand out in high risk. Pitcher that is conceding a very far batted ball distance over the last couple of weeks, Cutter Crawford of the Boston Red Sox against Tampa Bay Rays may be a target with an offense tonight. And it looks like the same idea here, very high batted ball distance allowed by Keegan Thompson of the Cubs against the Mets. Our model is very bullish on the Houston Astros tonight, the number one ranked stack by OF Index in our model on the main slates, number one by projected isolated slugging for the entire day, reasonable weight on base average ranking, and a modest implied team total. This means the Astros' ownership tonight may probably be held in check, so should be a very strong play that isn't super popular like the Yankees were last night. Uh, The Minnesota Twins, they have Johnny Cueto of the Chicago White Sox uh, facing off against them tonight. Number two by off index in our model. Number three by projected isolated slugging. More modest right in the middle of the pack for weighted on base average and a little bit of a higher implied team total than the Astros. I actually got more Minnesota primary stacks using our lineup builder today than Houston stacks. So our model does uh, see some value with the Twins in this spot against Cueto in the batting order. We'll look at that in a second here. St. Louis Cardinals, number three 
by off index on the main slate, number two by projected isolated slugging, reasonable weight on a base average, lowest implied team total of the uh, teams we've discussed here because they are underdogs against Tyler Anderson and the Los Angeles Dodgers tonight. A couple of other places that may be worth looking at. Toronto, not highest weighted on base average projection against Carlos Hernandez, the worst ranked pitcher in our model, in our pitcher model. So I would consider Toronto a place to go. The Dodgers with a very high weighted on base average ranking and a high implied team total probably be popular across the DFS industry tonight as well. Let's look at Houston. Houston facing Reed Detmers of the Angels, left-handed starting pitcher. Uh, Detmers is slightly worse against right-handed batters, allows a 212 isolated slugging, fringe elite 337 weighted on base average to right-handed hitters over the last uh, year's worth of his Major League Baseball outings. We have basically a bunch of right-handed hitters in the lineup tonight, except for Kyle Tucker, the best hitter in our model, and access to a stable of cheap options as well. Chaz McCormick, Jake Myers, both the outfield here, very cheap on both DraftKings and FanDuel and with really strong rankings in our model this evening. So they may be the easiest path to getting you to a primary stack with the Astros. They'll let you play five Astros, including these expensive guys, and still have plenty of salary left over. The Minnesota Twins in their matchup with Johnny Cueto of the White Sox tonight. Cueto allowing an elite isolated slugging to left-handed hitters. So switch hitter Jorge Polanco will hit from the left side against him. Could be interesting with some power upside. And Alex Kirillov, if he's in the lineup, uh, as an outfielder, as a cheap play, maybe interesting. Those are some of the guys that I would consider other than the obvious Byron Bucks and Carlos Correa plays with this team. St. Louis Cardinals this evening. They are facing off with Tyler Anderson of the Dodgers. Anderson is worse against lefties, even though he's left-handed himself, and allows an elite isolated slugging the hitters from either side of the plate. This Cardinals lineup is full of lefty mashers. Paul Goldschmidt has a 600 weighted on base average against lefties, uh, since mid-July 2021, so that's a very strong play. 479 ISO as well. Nolan Arenado, Tyler O'Neill, Dylan Carlson, even Austin Romine at catcher. Uh, 507 weighted on base average against the lefties uh, over the last year for him. A strong play here near the bottom of the Cardinals team rankings. For purposes of this video, I'm considering Corbin Burns a starting pitcher. I've got five Houston Astros plays, including some of those cheap outfielders I discussed here. I think we can definitely get Radon in here and still have plenty of room to finish off our lineup with a secondary stack here. Uh, so that's probably the path I will go on DraftKings. Over on FanDuel Burns, four high upside Astros hitters, $2,800 per player remaining. I think the survival path to the slate tonight, that's probably how I will be attacking it on FanDuel. Uh, keep an eye out for the daily plug at Occupy Fantasy. That's where we will post our final rankings for the entire day. If you want to talk about MLB DFS up until then, you can consider joining our Discord. There's a link to do so below the description of every video that we post on this channel. 60% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed to our channel. So we would really appreciate it if you subscribe. It actually helps you see our videos, get notified right when we post them so you don't miss any of the content if you enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up on the video if you like them. And we will talk to you tomorrow for more MLB DFS.